Hello guys, welcome to Coding World. My name is Nikita and in this video we are going to see how to print Christmas tree pattern in C programming language. So let us start. I have taken one variable, rows variable inside the main and I am going to ask user to please enter the number of rows. And then I have defined one function that is Christmas tree here and passed one argument that is number of rows to it. Now what I have done is inside this function I have just copied the part, the core of the upper half part of the diamond pattern which we have already seen in the last video. So this is what, this is the upper half part of the diamond. Okay so let us, and I have called this in the main function. So let us see whether it gives us the desired output. So let us check in a fast way, five. Yeah, it is printing the number of stars, yes, the upper half of the diamond pattern. Now I want to shift it to the center so that I can manage the lower levels of the tree as well. So let us, uh, I just need to increment the number of spaces which I am giving on the left hand side. So which is the block which is specifying the number of spaces that is this one. So I'll just start the value of the J from, just this is a certain value 60 you can try 20, 30, anything. So after trying so many things I have got this is the value which is going to shift the pattern to the center. So I'll just run and check whether it's going in the center. I'll add 6. So yeah, it is going to the center. Now next is what we need to think about the number of calculation. Now what, what of calculation, number of stars and the spaces from the next row. How to do, how to do that? So see simply, this is the row, last row which I have printed that is 6. Now, for next rows, what I have to do is, this is the number of stars. So it, it is more, okay. I'll just delete this one and try another one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Now, this is the last 6. But from next row, what I want to do is, I want to print likewise. And it will start from this. So this is going to increase the rows also and the number of stars. So it will look more clearer and like a Christmas tree. So from next row what I have to do is I have to start with this 4 count. Except the first and the last star. So how to do this? I will take two variables. And star is equal to 0 in space to calculate the number of spaces for each level initially I have taken that as a 0 now for after the first level I will say what is my star going to be yeah star rows number of rows that was 6 minus 2 the first star and the second star so minus 2 and what about the space calculation see for space calculation simply you can see here the first row had how many spaces 60 plus rows that is 66 so this row has 65 then 64 63 62 and here 61 but I want to start from this star right so this is the 61 okay so the earlier space was this much and plus 1 so 61 plus 2 it is going to be 63 for next row so simply I'll just that is the hard code value 63 I'll pass okay and then very easy work just to copy the above code because level is going to be same but we need to check the number of stars and the number of spaces so here this is not the number of spaces now for this level now number of spaces what this variable okay yes and what about the number of stars simply less than equal to I'll say or if you want to keep it as less than equal to you can say here 1 okay and then here I plus star now why so see number of stars now earlier it was just 0 1 2 1 2 star 1 star 2 star but here this is not I want to start the pr star printing from what from 4 so that's why this is the star value which we have to calculate at each level and I it is going to increment like 4 stars then 5 then 6 and so on so let us check how does it print 5 yeah so th this is what I want to say see this started from 3 okay rows minus 2 the number of stars started 3 and then 
incremented okay and the space see you can see your space the earlier was 61 and this two spaces we have added so the next row printed from this okay very easy now for next level again we have to think about the spaces now see first of all we'll see about the stars stars is very easy one okay now again i have to do what now earlier ns value uh, sorry the earlier number of star star variable had how much rows minus 2 now that should be incremented by how much rows okay that should be incremented by rows and again minus 2 because again first and last star should be skipped so simple do the same star is equal to how much star plus rows and minus 2 okay yeah now one more thing i'll just add your level one just to increase the what do you say the height of the next level okay simply you can just add this and uh, check once more it will just uh, increase the height it will look more good okay so that should increase at each level okay this is the second level so simple again uh, nothing nothing will change for the star calculation again star plus what number of rows plus rows and minus two first and last star is skipped okay now very simple now what about the space calculation see again we are going to do same thing now how earlier space variab variable had how much 61 plus 2 63 it started from this so you will have to decrement till here so that is number of times rows so 63 minus rows that is space minus rows plus how much again this 2 we have to add okay so very simple well just specify how to do this yeah the earlier value plus how much not plus we have to decrement minus rows and plus 2 because the it should skip the first star that's why again copy the upper for loop simply you'll just copy this and see yeah again this is the value now here there's no need of changing anything i'll just increment the level by one more okay and let us see is it giving us the desired output five enter wow so you can see here the difference which I wanted to tell you this is the first level then increased height of the next level and the next level also increased by one more. So it looks now like the Christmas tree. Now I have to think about the next that is the trunk of the tree. So how to do this? For that I'll just start from number of stars this much. So the first two and the last two stars I'm going to skip. So what about the star calculation? Simply star is equal to the earlier star value plus again the rows. Okay. It's going to increment and minus how much? You can say minus 2 or the number of stars. Just check it once. See this was the earlier star value. So that is incremented by how much? By rows. And then you can say is incremented by rows and minus how much first two and the last two stars so I will have to minus here four value am I right yes simply and what of the space calculation space will be again let us think about this the earlier space was here now that space minus the number of rows and yeah the one more because rows plus two times I have incremented this level so how to do this space minus you can just check for this I will say here space minus space space is equal to space minus rows and then again one more minus because this here it was rows plus 2 that's why and then plus 4 all right now why this plus 4 see I'll just tell you why plus 4 see for spaces now earlier it, we, we used to add plus 2 right 
but here we need to add this to us that's why see this was the 2 and second one 2 so that's why we have added here 4 okay yes and after this calculation let us proceed further to copy the next for loop and print it okay now for this what it is going to do simply I have to print it to num uh, number of rows okay so no plus one plus two two rows rows will remain same now j that is going to be our space that that should start from zero and the space value should be should be less than equal to how much the space variable itself because i want to print it for every time the spaces should be equal okay i will just show you how i want to print it now the trunk value should be how much likewise see hash, 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 hash. And uh, you can simply say square. I want to print a 2D square. You can see like so. Every time the number of spaces should be same and the number of stars also. Let us see how to do this. Zero to space, and this is also should start with zero. Less than equal to yes. You can less than equal. Let's see how how it is going to print. This. And stars also star. Here I'll add another different character that is hash and let us see whether it's giving us CC. Oh, this is the big mistake over here. So this, this is a zero. It should be less than equal to space and J should be incremented. Same for the star. Let us see and check what we have done here. Okay. Let us give five. Dun, dun, dun. Wow, it looks great. Now, this is the total complete Christmas tree. But I have to add one more. See, this is a Christmas tree, but we have not decorated it. So, we need to decorate. So, it will look more good. So what to do? I'll just add some random characters in each level so that it will look more good. So, how to do this? Simply, while printing star, I'm going to add one twist. How to add that twist? See here. Yeah. And what I will do is in this level I'll say if j value is what? If j value is even, so print star. Okay. If j is even, then print star. Else print some another star. So this this may be zero or anything which you like I'll just copy this because I want to add this to next levels also now again here I'll say okay, I'll copy with the curly braces so it will be more easier for me to do it much faster so instead of this print type here now here I, what, what I'll do is I'll just do one thing here I'll say plus sign and zero some different combination that's it nothing much more difficult or again for the next level third level which is the last level here also i'll add and just shift this bracket the right place and here i'll say what plus and star okay this combination we have not tried yet okay then let us run and see how does it show to us okay five wow now you can see here i've decorated tree very well and it looks very nice so thank you guys for watching this video i hope you enjoyed the code enjoy coding keep coding